Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about ST, the simple terminal. Now, those of you who know me or have been following along with the channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Termite. And it hurt to leave Termite behind for a little while, but I wanted to try something a little different. And I really have enjoyed my time over the last six months or so with DWM. It's really been a good experience because it feels like I've built something from the ground up, you know. My version of ST is different than pretty much everyone else's version of ST, or at least it feels that way. I mean, I'm sure somebody else uses the exact uh, combination of patches that I use and whatever. But it feels like my version of ST is something that I built and I could be proud of. I think that's the reason why I really like DWM. It's the reason why I like window managers to begin with, but DWM has an extra mile. Instead of just doing the ricing, you also have to go through and add in the features that you want, and that's kind of cool. And I thought with ST I'd have the same experience because, you know, you'd start with just a plain old terminal emulator. you got to go through and add in certain features that are pretty standard in every other terminal emulator. And you build it up from the ground up and then by the time you're done you have something that you can, you know, put up on GitHub and you always have it exactly the same way and it's just kind of cool. That's the way I thought I would feel. But that's not the way I feel. Honestly, I feel... The opposite. I feel that patching and going through and having to recompile your configuration file every time you make a change to your terminal is really annoying. And it's not a feeling that I had with DWM because DWM, I was feeling like it was just putting all those patches in was just part of the ricing process. It was part of customizing my desktop, which is something that, you know, I do every three or four months if I wait that long. You know, I always go through and, you know, I move to a different window manager and there's a process of after you've, you, you've hopped to a new window manager of going through and setting it up, whether if, you, if it's brand new, you go through and do everything for the first time, or maybe you download your stuff from GitHub and put in your dot files. And it's always a process and it's kind of something that's rewarding because you're going from, you know, stock all the way to, you know, whatever your configuration looks like and feels like with ST, it was just not that experience it was it felt like a burden it felt like a, a hassle and it wasn't a good feeling it wasn't that there's anything wrong with ST I mean even out of the box ST is usable it's not like DWM is fairly unusable when you're not using something a few patches at least with ST you get out of the box it's you know you can go through and you change the colors and you can zoom in and zoom out and stuff that stuff all comes out of the box which is good I mean it's just once you move past the out of the box experience and want to add something like as simple as scroll back you know something that is standard on every terminal emulator even Xterm I think has scroll back I mean I may be wrong I don't use Xterm but it's when you get to that point of having to patch stuff it's like uh, I have to do this uh, like why isn't this here I just want to do my work I want to open up NC spot or something I want to go through and do all these commands and I have to patch something in order to actually do the thing I want to do it's it was ugh, it was it felt icky you know and maybe it's because I don't spend as much time ricing my terminal as I do my desktop environment because ricing my terminal is simple it's Go and change the colors from whatever terminal that sexy tells me to change it to, and you know it comes out the right way. I spend some time with the prompt, but that's done through ZSH. It's not done through the terminal. All the my prompts are pretty much the same no matter what terminal I'm in. So maybe that's the reason why it felt like a burden or a hassle. I don't know. I think that. In the long run, I probably could get used to ST because I've I've gone through and made my changes. Now I've gone through, I've got the scroll back patch. I've got a couple other patches that I you know I needed to copy and paste and do these other things. I think if I'd used continued to use it, it would be fine because like I said, I'm there. I've got it to the point where it's basically the way I want it. I probably would go through and change some of the key bindings because some of the key bindings are weird. So if you want to zoom in, it's control shift page up page down. That's no bueno. Uh, it's just too many key, key presses in order to do it. Scrolling up 
with the scroll scroll patch is also very weird. It's a two handed com two handed operation. You have to hit shift and then your scroll wheel, or shift and page up and page down. It's not. I don't want to have to use both hands. Okay. It's it's uh, maybe it's a weird hang up I have, but if I want to scroll up, I just want to scroll up because chances are my other hand's going to be doing a key combination of some other sort, you know, or whatever. Maybe I'm grabbing for a snack or something. I don't know. Um, it's just it was a death by a thousand cuts with ST. It was all these little things that just were really annoying. And like I said, I, if I were to use it for longer and change even more stuff to kind of suit it to my needs, it'd be fine. But I don't want to, is the thing. Whereas I wanted to go, I felt like I wanted to continue to improve DWM. With ST, I dread having to change something every single time I go in there because it's just, it's not as if it's hard. It's just stupid. <laughs> I mean, I, it's just, I don't know, it's just really, I think most of it is because every other terminal emulator is basically the same. I mean, terminal emulators all do the same thing. What varies is the speed and some of the features and how they're configured and what they're written in, right? So you use other terminal emulators and all your features are there. They're just baked in. Now you can change things to alter them to how you want them in most uh, terminals, but everything just works out of the box and there's no hassle. E even when changing colors, like if you change colors in ST, you have to go in, change your colors. Well, excuse me. First, you have to delete your config.h file. Then you have to change your colors. Then you have to compile it and then you have to close it and then you have to restart it. That's way too many steps. I just want to go through and change the colors and close it. I mean, that's the way it should be. I mean, I understand that compiling doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. It took, it took like, I don't know, five seconds. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a five second step, but it's the principle of the matter, right? It's, it's the, damn it, I don't want to spend those five seconds compiling it when I could just close it and restart it. And I change colors often enough that it's, um, a pain. It's also they've buried the the appearance settings in the configuration file till it's like halfway down the configuration file, and you have to so you have to scroll down every single time you want to go to the colors. Now, I mean, it's not a big deal because you can always just you know, search for it or whatever in Rim. But when I, when you're coming from Termite, which has the smallest configuration file you've ever seen, you know, it's a big thing to ask. <laughs> You know, it, it, I'm making myself sound like a lazy person, but I mean, it's true. It's, I just want my terminal emulator to work. I don't want to have to go through and scroll down to every time I change colors. Cause I change colors in my terminal emulator all the time. Anyways, so that is my brief thoughts on the, my two months with the, the simple terminal, the ST. I'm leaving ST to go to some other terminal. Now I'm either going to go back to termite where I'll be happy, happy, happy. Or I'll be going to at Alacrity. Now, I'm probably going to give Alacrity a try. I think I'm going to have some of the same problems with Alacrity because the configuration file is huge mungus. And I don't really care for that. I don't want to have to sift through 5,000 lines of comments in order to do my configuration. Because another thing you may know about me, I don't read instructions. <laughs> instructions are for other people, not me. I just want to get in there and be able to know what I'm doing without having to read the instructions. And if you have 5,000 lines of instructions, you're doing it wrong because I don't want to have to have a college education or a higher college education, I guess in this case, in order to configure my, configure my terminal. So that is it for this video. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter at the LinuxCast. Um, we're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash LinuxCast. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And with that in mind, I would like to sh shout out, I guess, our current patrons, Devon Marcus, Merrick Camp 514. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.